Okay, hi Aquarius. Um, we're going to do your messages from the other person for uh, January 2020. Uh, it is general, keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate. So, um, yeah. Let's get started. We're going to start with the Power of Surrender deck. What does this other person that Aquarius is connecting with? What do they have to work on? Surrendering. So this person you're connecting with has to surrender to their full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Now there is a uh, lion on this card. So for some, not all, for some, you could be dealing with a, um, with a Leo. But this person... Yeah, this person you're connecting with has been has been playing it small, if that makes sense to you. So this person definitely has to step into their full power. Maybe even find their voice, their 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 voice, because um the lion's mouth is open and he's roaring, so maybe this person also needs to find their voice. <coughs> Let's see, Aquarius, you guys have two cards. You have to surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. And you also have Surrender Your Fear of Change. I believe Sagittarius got this as well, this card. Um, the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear, fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So you're also fearing some sort of change here. At the bottom of the deck, surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. I'm going to get a love oracle message. Ooh. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, so this card has been coming out for a couple signs today. Lots of reconciliations happening. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm like, I'm sick, I'm stuffy, I'm coughing, and I'm drinking the sparkling water. It's making me burp. I'm just a mess. Uh... Let's see, at the bottom of the deck, you have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others, and then, oh, worth waiting for is underneath that. So I feel like some of you guys have been waiting a while for this reconciliation to come in. And um, this person is supported by their friends, maybe even family members. They do have helpful friends around them. You could even have helpful friends around you as well when it comes to this connection and this reconciliation. Let's get a lot of, another love message. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. <coughs> yeah, lots of shifts happening. Um, where was the other... Oh, yeah, look, it's time for a relationship to shift, is that first sentence there. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. There is a shift that is happening in your connection, in your relationship with this person. And it's leading to a reconciliation. So, what's at the bottom? Oh, power. <gasps> Surrender to full power for this other person and power at the bottom of the deck. 
You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So keep that in mind. And I'll read this too. Balance is underneath that. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Let's see, messages. The person Aquarius is connecting with. It was you. It was always you. I'm so sorry, guys, that I'm coughing. Um, so, yeah, this person wants you to know that um, it was always you, that they want it. Maybe they didn't realize in the past, but now they're realizing it now. No one can change my love for you. So they have love for you. They have very strong feelings for you. This person loves you. I was in denial. This person was in denial. I act happy, but I'm not at the bottom of the deck. So this person is not happy. Let's get some more messages. Don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you, because I do. So this person does want you. You might feel that since you guys aren't talking or aren't together right now that they don't want you, but spirit is showing us otherwise. They're saying otherwise. I miss being intimate with you. I've been more focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself. So this person, maybe you guys separate it due to a career or financial problems or they just, maybe they felt like they haven't built enough for themselves or haven't, you know, built a foundation to not only support themselves but support you as well. So I feel like they're really focusing on trying to, to, to bring in money right now, to bring in some sort of stability. Um, but they really do miss being intimate with you, like, not just, like, the sex, but they miss, um, like, just having deep conversations with you or, or, like, holding your hand or stuff like that. They, they miss being close to you. At the bottom of the deck... I've been feeling your presence around me. Underneath that, you gave me that spark. And this person has also been expanding their spiritual knowledge. They might already be a, a spiritual person. If not, just know that they are getting into spirituality at this time. They might try and surprise you as well, I'm getting. All right, I'm just going to take what flipped over. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. You've been in my dreams, so this person has dreamt about you. I feel like more than once. And they are receiving signs and synchronicities when it comes to you. At the bottom of the deck, I wish I could take back the things I said. So maybe there were some hurtful things or just maybe things that they said that they didn't really mean. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. It all comes down to timing. 
I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. Yeah, a lot. This is at the bottom of the deck. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So this is reaffirming that they are receiving a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities when it comes to your connection. They are afraid of your reaction, though. Maybe because they were in denial in the past. Artists came out. This person could be an artist. Or maybe they're just very creative. Or very unique. Maybe art is healing for this person. Or it's healing for you. Like art is... It's very, oh, 11, 11. <coughs> um, yeah, but art could be very therapeutic for someone here. We have books at the bottom of the deck. So something about books. Maybe someone here likes to read a lot or likes to educate themselves. Something about books here. Maybe someone is a publisher or wrote a book. Embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. So I feel like you're ready to embrace the future. I feel like you're ready for newness. I do feel like this person wants to embrace the future with you. I feel like they want to walk through this door with you. Revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. That was at the bottom of the deck. You could feel that maybe they view you as someone who's very radiant, like very, very bright. <coughs> My God, if I could stop coughing, that would be great. Planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. Where? I need my cough drops. But yeah, they want to plant seeds with you. And have a new have a new start. They want a new cycle with you. It's beautiful sharing of yourself at the bottom of the deck so i feel like they definitely want to give themselves to you like they're ready to share their time their effort like they're ready to give of themselves to you yeah they have been looking deep into this connection and they're ready to give birth to another cycle with you now for some for some, not all, for some, this could literally mean giving birth. Maybe some of you are expecting a child. If not, this is just like the birth of something new. The birth of a new, a new cycle, a new start. Ooh, within the next few weeks. So this... This could be happening within the next few weeks for some of you watching. Yeah, wow, recovery at the bottom of the deck. Within the next few weeks, this, this situation is going to recover. You have ask your angels so some of you guys could have been praying about this or just talking to your angels to your spirit guides i feel like they could have been talking to their um, angels and their spirit guides as well when it comes to you and this connection and how to go about 
reconciling with you. I feel like um, they might have been drinking a lot, this person as well. Maybe maybe they like to drink. And I feel like they're, they could be afraid that you might mock them for some reason. I don't know if that will resonate for some people. Wow, the tower. This is going to happen like out of the blue, very unexpected, very suddenly when this person comes in. So yeah, something, this, this reconciliation is coming in very sudden. Over the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of shifts, a lot of changes in, in the energy this connection <laughs> yeah music is significant light and love crystals could be significant to some and sensitivity. So some of you guys are becoming very sensitive, very aware to these shifts that are happening.